What's up everyone? My name is Nick and today I'm in Cebu. I've just landed at Cebu Airport and from the airport I took a 20 minute drive to one of these uh, villages here and at this house they're making the traditional Misua noodles which are noodles and they make them here at their home so I'm gonna check it out and there's so many other things I'm gonna do on this trip. Yes, let's get this video started. This is Global Given. This is the way they make mi soi, local mi here in the traditional way. Pretty cool. I'm a bit slow, but the guy that uh, does this for a living for 50 years, finger fast. Very flexible. So now we gotta hang it up somewhere and stretch it. Then pull it. So this is how the noodle comes out if you do it the right way. Not the way I did it probably. So this is the real noodle man. I'm in Cebu, downtown Cebu. Cebu is one of the larger cities here in Sarawak. And did you know that Cebu is home to the largest indoor market in all of Malaysia? Yes, that's a great fun fact. And there's a lot of things to do and to see here. The city center is really busy. There's music, there's people. There's a lot going on here. And yeah, the last time I was here was probably seven, eight years ago. So it's good to be back. All right, Kuching's got a lot of murals, but here in Cebu there are a lot of murals as well, like this one, and I guess they love to eat here because the, all these murals are made out of food. It's all about food, food, food. Kompia, definitely one of my favorite breakfasts. Cebu is famous for its kompia, which is, uh, I call it like a Sarawakian Chinese mini burger, but uh, that doesn't justify what it actually is. But it is like a little bun, and they make it really nice, and here they make the buns, actually. So uh, let's check it out. Yeah, <laughs> I managed to get a piece for myself. It's really nice, really fresh. And it tastes so good, and it's got little seeds on it. Mmm, it's so yummy. Fresh out of the oven. The charcoal fired oven, so cool. I really love being in Cebu. It's so lively here. I must say it's in ways a little bit more lively than Kuching and Miri and Bintulu. There's just so much going on and maybe it's because it's a Sunday today but there's little markets, little stalls popping up everywhere and yeah it's really really busy so it's really good to be back and yeah it's a beautiful town here. Alright took a little break and uh, I think it's time for lunch and it's no joke here in Cebu because they love to eat. Look at this. What? <laughs> That's a lot of food. Alright, uh, definitely I'm uh, very interested about the kompia because I love kompia. 
where I was just now. They made them and now I can actually eat them. And there's a lot of meat here. There's just so much good food here in Sydney. I obviously can't eat all of this. I'm here with other people. We're uh, actually shooting another video as well. But uh, this compia is definitely delicious. So yeah, it's like a little burger. Um, with the, the, the seeds on top and they put some minced pork or beef inside this pork It's nice and crispy. Oh, it's really good for breakfast. It's really yummy mm. Try some of these noodles. So this is the famous Tao Tzu Min Cooked and fried noodle. So double the work double the flavor all right I'm very curious about this this is a rice stew never had that before it's a uh, rice that kind of cakes on a pan I've been told and then you scrape it off and then uh, you put it in a stew in a soup and a thing yep something like that mm. Mm. that's good Yummy. I'm at one of the parks here in Cebu and I was told that maybe 20-25 years ago the local government decided to give different pieces of land to different clans here, to different Chinese clans and these clans would adopt a piece of land and turn it into a nice little park. So there are now over 20 different small little parks like this one and this one was or was built is managed by the Ling clan and yeah there are a bunch of these little cool parks here in Cebu as you might know Cebu is located on the Rujang River which is actually the largest river in Malaysia and of course you gotta go on a river cruise so these are the old bullet boats that used to shoot up all the way to Kapit and beyond there. But now there's a road to Kapit, so they've converted these boats into river cruises. So let's go! All right, we're on the boat and they've done a good job because this used to be the bullet boat, as I said earlier, and it used to be covered with only one engine, so it wasn't the safest boat before. But now they've taken off the top, they've put a higher ceiling on, and we can actually look around now. So this is really the perfect boat to go on a river cruise on the Rajang River, right here in Cebu. boat cruise so if you're ever in Cebu definitely go on this cruise and it's really only 12 ringgit which is like three four dollars and yeah they sell a couple of fruits here you can have some fruits there's drinks on the boat for sale and I believe once in a while they actually do a barbecue on the boat definitely a lot of fun you see big boats coming past you see these old quarters here in Cebu and it's it's really a great experience you guys are still here well uh, I guess this is the end of the video I, I really just want to enjoy that uh, Titanic moment but uh, yeah there's so much to see so much to do here in Cebu so when you have the time come and visit Cebu really there's so much to see we've got river cruises there are temples there are so many markets and everything so definitely a place to visit this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like subscribe 
and leave that comment. Let me know your thoughts. That's it. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this boat cruise. Bye-bye. See you next week. Oh,